generally we are using for the MOSFET and IGBT. SCR having different topologies. So first is the first is direct drive direct drive in the direct drive if we are having I will explain and I will rub it okay so in direct drive let us assume we have a MOSFET I will not make capacitors I will make just MOSFET only so this is the MOSFET this is the gate and this is source this is drain terminal gate terminal so to drive this MOSFETs in the direct switch the first is direct drive direct drive in the direct drive whatever the driver is there it will give these drivers are there this driver will give direct output to the gate with the help of this one resistance that is called gate resistance and this is the pulse coming from the microcontroller so this is the direct drive method in this method whenever I want to switch it on the power switch the device will give on and it will turn it on and then it becomes zero and the switch become off you have to careful whenever if we are using two switches on series or H bridge or, or half bridge drive because that MOSFET should turn it off before turning on the other switches otherwise shoot through will happen you can see my refer to my previous videos I have explained properly there how the, what is the shoot through and how we can avoid these things so this is the one method of the driving of the switches second method method B in method B we will use a diode that is called turn off diode so this method is by using diode turn off diode so in this situation we will connect one diode in the circuitry so while turning on this this resistance path will turning on this capacitance we define two capacitance are there so let us zoom in one capacitance input capacitance we can say so input capacitance of the switch so this will charge by this RG means turning on the MOSFET and to fast turning off this diode the current whatever is this capacitance is charged to discharge it fastly through the diode because diode resistance is very small and this resistance is very bigger more RG is more so so that the charging time if you see so rise time is like this and fall time is very fast because of the depending on the diode resistance so one is capable for the charging and another is the discharging path for the switches so this is the one method then we'll discuss second third method C
in this math now we will discuss now we will discuss the third method so third method method c is separate switches without diodes we don't want any diodes so separate switches separate output drive without diode diodes so in this method the driver is used as a totem pole drivers so in this method the drivers having two different switches so one is p and p and this is n p n and this is the your drive and this is the output but in this method this is the output and this is the signal coming from the drivers microcontroller so this is totem pole so here we will connect two different resistance but here in this method one method is just this is the driver part so it is don't worry about this this section just i am explaining what is there so here one resistance from for this and another resistance for this circuit but from the same terminal so this is called r g on and this is called r g off so in this method when the pulse will come so this transistor npn is whenever the high is there this high will come and this will give the high pulse to this mosfets or igbt to turn it on so so that this driver will turn it on the mosfet by using gate on and this gate on resistance we can increase decrease based on rise time and fall time we require so this is responsible for the rise time rise time to turn it on and second time when this pulse is become zero zero that time this transistor will go off and this transistor npn transistor will go on npn transistor is go on so that time whatever the charge is there in the input capacitance of the mosfet so that charge will come from here and discharge it to ground this part is already connected so discharge so in this method this discharging resistance is different based on this two value we can control the rise time and fall time of the mosfet or igbt so here we have two different different option if anybody want faster rise they can decrease the value of rg on if they want higher uh, faster uh, uh, fall time then they can decrease the rg off if they want slower rise time they can increase the rg on if they want slower uh, fall time then they can increase the rg off value different different value is there they that is in their control as per the their design requirements now we will discuss one more method that is fourth method that is bipolar supply we will use a negative supply for the mosfets in that drive why we require negative sometime if we are talking about silicon carbide mosfets or igbts their threshold value of turning on gate drive voltage is very very minimal 
very near by 0, sometimes 0 also. So 0, 1.8, below the 3 voltage also is there. So that time if any small, let us zoom, we'll make here, fourth method first. Negative supply drive method or bipolar supply. So in this method, if the gate is there, this is source, this is drain and this is the gate. So in this method, if you see the gate potential, gate potential is always whenever you are not giving the pulse or giving not giving the pulse, it is always negative. So this gate terminal is always below the threshold value. If the threshold value is here, this is the zero line and this is the V threshold voltage of the gate drive. So here if you see if the drive pulse is not there, here always a negative supply is there. So this is V negative. or I can say VGS negative. Here negative supply is continuous are there. So this is the IC and this is the positive, this is the negative, negative below 5 volt, uh, below 0 volt. This is VGS negative. So this negative and this is the your gate resistance for the turning on and this is the gate resistance for turning off rg on rg off but we have to give the always negative to ensure that it should below always threshold value so this is the negative supply so let us zoom minus 5 volt or i will write v g s negative this and capacitor is connected and this supply will connect to the source of the MOSFETs so always ensure that this section of the gate is always getting the negative supply this configuration is, is there inside the IC only this IC is there inside the IC how they are uh, giving the supply that we can see the data sheet of the different type of the ICs and they, they will explain how the negative is going. But the concept is we have to make sure the whenever the pulse is not coming here that time is always in negative. So if you see with the help of probe, the CRO or multimeter this with respect to this point, this point is always negative point. Gate is the below the this zero level. So with the help of this negative or bipolar supply, the we can ensure the automatically turning on of the MOSFET will not possible by putting the VGS negative. Whenever any surge is there or any parasitic inductance is coming in picture so we can avoid the tire automatically turning off which is unwanted we, we don't want to turn it on the rest, uh, MOSFET or switches but automatically it will turn it on because of the some of the inductance or line configuration so by this method we can avoid so these are the requirement for the gate drive that's why we require a, we need a proper gate drive in the power electronics. I hope you have understand the things. If you have any doubt, please comment me and I will describe you again. Thank you. Bye bye.